Hi everyone, Heather here. Today's video request comes from Dawn. Hello Dawn. And she was asking about labs and how it relates to the patient. And that's a really good topic. And I decided that since there's so much to discuss with these labs that I would break them up into a couple of episodes, okay? So stay tuned. Here we the go. The basic chemistry panel that the doctor will order is called a Chem 7, also known as a BMP, basic metabolic panel, or an SMA7. And this includes your sodium, your potassium, your chloride, your bicarb, your BUN creatinine, and glucose. And sometimes the calcium gets lonely and likes to sneak its way in there to make the Chem 7 a Chem 8. Silly calcium. I'm going to show you one of the ways to write out your Chem 7. BUN and creatinine test the kidney function. Normal BUN levels are about 10 to 20, creatinine 0.7 to 1.2 or so. Normal levels vary from hospital to hospital, but if these levels go up, it's considered acute renal failure. The kidneys help regulate fluid volume and get rid of some of those nasty toxins. So if a person's drinking a lot of water, then it's gonna get excreted by the kidneys to prevent fluid buildup in the body. But if a person isn't drinking enough water, then the body's gonna hold on to what little water that it has and excretion is gonna decrease, causing the urine to be dark. So if your patient has dark and decreased urine output, then your BUN and creatinine will probably be elevated. So if this happens, some hydration may help return those levels to normal. So if the doctor calls you up and says, how's so-and-so's kidney function, then you're gonna give them the BUN and creatinine. Some drugs don't metabolize very well if the kidneys aren't functioning properly or they don't want to cause further damage. So the doctors may ask you this question before prescribing certain medications. So while we're on this topic, I have a little piece of advice for you. If your BUN and creatinine go up slightly, it's not really urgent to call the doctor because these labs can vary slightly from day to day. And your patient may be just a little dehydrated. But if they do continue to rise daily, then the MD will probably call for a renal consult. Also, check to see what your labs were the day before, because even if you have a creatinine of 4, it could be around the same that it was yesterday or better, and you would not need to call for this. Patients that have chronic renal failure usually have high creatinines, and the only way to lower this is by having dialysis. But if you ever, ever have any questions, always ask your nurse or your charge nurse. So that's today's crash course on BUN and creatinine. Stay tuned for more, guys, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? Bye!